Welcome to today's five-minute Bible study in the Gospel of Matthew. We've been looking for several days now at Matthew chapter 10, in which Jesus sends his disciples on mission in his name. And in this chapter, he teaches them how they are to do that mission. Now today we're looking at Matthew 10, verses 34 through 39. And Jesus has a very interesting comment in this passage because he says that my gospel does not necessarily always bring peace. Sometimes it brings division. And that surprises us at first, but let's listen to what Jesus has to say. Chapter 10, beginning at verse 34. Do not suppose that I have come to bring peace to the earth. I do not come to bring peace, but a sword. For I have come to turn a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. A man's enemies will be the members of his own household. Now anyone who loves his father or his mother more than me is not worthy of me. And anyone who loves his son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. And anyone who does not take his cross and follow me is not worthy of me. Whoever finds his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Now we know these words of Jesus quite well, and yet, if we're honest, they surprise us at first, because we thought Jesus always came to bring peace. And he says, don't think I came to bring peace on earth, but I came to bring a sword. And oftentimes my gospel causes division, not unity. How can this be? Now in one sense, of course, in other passages, we know that Jesus does bring peace. When we come to know Jesus, it brings peace to our heart. And when the kingdom of God is evident in this world, that brings peace. So in an ultimate sense, yes, Jesus does bring peace on the earth. That's what the angel said uh, on that first Christmas, did not peace on earth, goodwill to men. He brings peace. And yet, what does Jesus mean when he said, I, I don't bring peace, but division? What he's saying is that oftentimes when the gospel first comes, that divides people. Those who believe in Jesus find themselves opposed often by those who do not believe in him. Those who follow Christ find themselves divided from those who refuse to follow him. And so sometimes what results from the gospel is not necessarily peace, but division. Division not caused by the kingdom of God, division not caused by those who follow Jesus, but rather affected by those who refuse to follow him and persecute those who are following him. You see what happens? Sometimes that even occurs within a family. When one member of the family follows Jesus and someone else in the family says, I will not, and they divide themselves from the one who is following Jesus, Jesus says, be prepared for that. Everyone's not going to accept me. Everyone's not going to follow me. Everyone's not going to believe in me. And those who refuse to believe might even distance themselves from those of you who do believe. So my followers, Jesus says, they don't cause division. They don't cause disunity. But those who oppose them might. And you must be prepared for that. That's why Jesus says, you've got to love me first. He gives us an interesting passage about loving him more than your father or your mother or your family. What does he say? He said, if other members of your family refuse to believe and even distance themselves from you, your love for me must be first. Your loyalty to me must be primary. It's not that you cease to love them. You still love them with all of your heart and all of your soul, but your love for me is first. Your love for me is primary. And so if they separate themselves from you, although you strive to, to, to bring them back, if you can, you never turn away from me. I have known cases where people have been disowned by their family simply because they follow Jesus. They did not separate themselves from their loved ones. Their loved ones separated from them because they were followers of Jesus. That's what Jesus meant when he says, I don't necessarily bring peace, but sometimes division. It, 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 sometimes those who won't follow me, Jesus says, distance themselves from those who do. So you as a follower of Jesus, you, you never cause division, or we should not ever cause division, but sometimes it happens simply because you are committed to Christ. And you must be ready for that, and you must be prepared for that. It's, it's similar to the persecution. 
Sometimes those who oppose the message of Christ will separate from those of us who want to follow him. We must be ready for that. We continue to love everyone and we continue to reach out, but we'll never turn our backs on Jesus for any reason. Jesus is always first in our life. Jesus is always primary for he is Lord and he is King and we will follow him no matter what. Amen and amen. You have a great day today and I'll see you next time for our five-minute Bible study in the Gospel of Matthew.